Hey, I'm Kadeen Ellis. And I'm Deval. And this is Couch Conversation. So Deval and I have been together for almost 16 years and yeah. married for almost eight. And Ooh. we find ourselves debating about the same thing. So we figured we would open up the debate to other couples to see yeah. how they feel about these things. And we're going to bring the conversation to you. Hey everyone, I'm Kadeen. And I'm Deval. And this is Couch Conversation. So you hear in every marriage that you should work together, yes. right? But <laughs> yes. what happens when you really, literally work together? Like literally have a business right. together. Right. And you're clocking in or clocking out or I, not clocking out. I knew out. you wanted to direct the clock, not clocking out at right. me. Like right. I, I, I just felt it. You felt it coming? Yes. yes. I was wafting it in your direction. You're like, well, yes, I definitely right. was. You need you to waft that? some money in my direction because the bills never clock but out. But you know what? So sometimes, I clock out. sometimes I just want Deval, my, my homie lover friend, you I'm know? Here. And, and here we've decided to just, you know what? We agree to disagree, but we want to continue the dialogue. So yes. we brought two couples in here to tell us how do y'all keep the balance or not? <laughs> oh, yes, or right, not, right. all right? So we're gonna start over here. Introduce yourselves to us, tell us a little bit about what you do. DeAndre Gosfield, Quincy Gosfield, uh, married four years together, 22 years, and we TV produce together. Okay, nice, nice. 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 And so far, you can individually tell me marriage has been? Marriage has been a riot. <laughs> a riot. A riot. No, it's been a parade. No, it's been great. It's been great. We, just, we do this all day long. Um, okay. It's been great. And to my left. Well, I'm Robert Mosley. This is Amber Mosley. We've been married for two and a half years now and dating six, six and friends for... 15? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Okay. History. Yeah, we met at yeah. Hampton okay. University. So. Okay. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So we have um, a couple of companies. We have a marketing um, a branding company. So we do graphic design, website design, okay. app development, um, Robert's an artist. Yeah. Yeah, we have everything together. Everything. 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 And have babies too. Everything. We also have babies together. Yes, we, we have, have babies. Four year old and a Eight week old. Very oh, nice. Congrats. 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 Yeah, we have a two year old fur baby. Fur baby. He's three. He's three. I don't even do know. Count see, count see you a bad dad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, marriage is. Marriage is. We shacked up. <laughs> Yeah. Before, yeah, well, she yeah. didn't let me leave, so. <laughs> so you were held hostage? Yeah, it's pretty much. Started. It's time to play. It's time to the truth to the world. So, so marriage has been a hostage situation. She was like, I'm tired of being called your boyfriend. We need to do something. I said, uh -huh. okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, okay. And it, it was really just that simple for mm -hmm. me. She, she presented it. We talked about it. We talked about marriage and having kids at college, freshman year. Mm -hmm. Way beyond, <laughs> right? Yeah. Before we dated or did anything, right. and okay. <clears throat> there's power in words, and here we are with kids and multiple businesses, and we do it all together. Like, let's let's talk a little bit about business. Mm -hmm. We debate all the time about time, mm -hmm. and I often say to my wife, you know, I just want my wife. I want the girlfriend that I was dating, and she says, well, I want the boyfriend that I was dating. I don't want the businessman. And for me, I feel like. Business has been my life 24-7. I really don't know how to turn it off. Mm -hmm. And we debate on when is a good time mm -hmm. to turn it off. Especially as entrepreneurs. Or how do you turn it off? Because you and guys you are business together. owners. You are business owners. Mm -hmm. How do you turn it off? Or do you ever turn it off? You don't. We haven't yet. Honestly. We haven't yet either. It's no. a certain level of success that you're looking for. I mean, each everybody has their own individual goals. Me, I want to... I want a really nice house. I want mm -hmm. investments. I want to be able to travel the world. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a certain amount of time that we're going to have to put in countless hours, day in and day out, feel you. to get there. And until we get there, it has to be a sacrifice. And there are things right. in our relationship that have been sacrificed due to our work ethic and what we right. have to do to survive here in LA. Right, right. You know right, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's a, it's a total different beast. Has your love life suffered? Intimacy suffered because. Yeah, For us, yeah. it's yeah. been a huge issue that yeah. Yeah. I can't ever turn it off. And she's just like, well, I'm sorry, but I don't want to sleep but with then... a dude that's talking about the Amex bill right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that's that's exactly. what happens. Right. And then we both get in our feelings and then nothing really gets accomplished. You know, yeah, it's like the days go by. by the wayside because you're frustrated yeah. and he's frustrated. Exactly. Just... Or the business may thrive, but then where's the love life? Where's the intimacy? Yeah. That's what we Yeah, it's kind of weird because uh, before... Uh, when we had separate 
occupations and separate jobs Mm -hmm. there was this time where you were apart during the day because you're at work Mm -hmm. he's at work and then i'm at work Mm -hmm. and so we would be you know in our day jobs and then coming home to see each other was special right you know right it had that like now we're you know now we you know we're we're tv producers most of the time if we're not on set or you know at a studio Mm -hmm. we're in the office together or we're at home together and he's in the office and he's editing he's doing this he's doing that Mm -hmm. i'm on my computer and we're home all day and we don't interact until it's time to go to bed. Right. Oh, and gosh. so you kind of miss sometimes. Um, missing each other. Missing each other. Yeah. yeah missing each other, I think, is sometimes important. So uh, I think we have to make a point to date each other sometimes. Have y'all built in time? We haven't specifically consciously said, let's do this no. time. No. We just say, hey, let's get out of here and let's go to dinner. Let's go mm-hmm. to a movie, you know, so it's not as often as it used to be. Mm-hmm. But those moments, I think, are important to maintain because, honestly, you know, we can lose track of each other. You know, we're oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so busy all the time. Plus, when you when you have to bring in your own paycheck, like you're not clocking in somewhere. <laughs> I know. I, I every minute, every minute I that you're not working I, towards that, you're I like, shit. <laughs> like, what? And then I'll come in there, and if he's relaxing too much, then I'm then then we're beefing. Why didn't you Why didn't you write that script? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why didn't you Why didn't you call those people? Oh gosh, back? I hear you. And, and, oh man, man we so get up. Now you're a little too too too. Oh oh. I'm just I'm just saying. Okay, so here's here's another question. Because in in our relationship, there are roles. And it's not even like a gender role. It's just a, I'm a creative. You know what I'm saying? I'm a doer. I want to get stuff done, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. She's a procrastinator. So at times, it feels almost like I'm the boss. Even though it's not, I'm not, I don't consider myself the boss. It's like, I got to say, let's do this. Yes. Is that, is that exist? Oh, God. Yeah, you just talked yeah, about it all person, day long. Is there one yeah. person? Is there, yeah. Who's yeah. surfacing she's a tourist, as the... So, you know, she's laid back and chill. <laughs> and I'm like, it's time to go get it. What, what are you doing? Right, right, right. You know what time it is right now. Right, like, right, right. Now, see, that's funny because I'm the tour, I'm a tourist, mm-hmm. but I feel like I'm you. This one has a million brilliant ideas a minute. Uh-huh. But he won't execute. Oh, he executes. So he won't. I, I'm an executor. I, yeah, I only I have about two a year. I only have two good ideas a year. <laughs> <laughs> but damn it, they get done. <laughs> they get done. This one, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's great. He's like, I, I know. I know. And that's it. And that, that is just not it. it. <laughs> that is that is it. Yeah. Well, you real quick, I want to have a bonding moment home with Amber because okay. Okay. we we having a baby. He has, so that's right. like another factor oh, that gets thrown right. into there. Oh, and sometimes, too, well, that's something that, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Listen, because, listen, I'm going to be 100% honest, right? That's a whole other thing sometimes. The baby just you. want mommy. I hear you and I love you. It's different when you got right. active fathers, too. Yes. Exactly. So that's yeah, no some excuse. What I take care of that, is what What bothers me is when moms act like they the only one who ever take care of the kids. Like, that bothers me, as if I'm not an entrepreneur. Now, I'm not saying you say that, but what I'm saying is, is when y'all say stuff like, we having them babies, I'm like, okay, y'all have the babies, but I'm an active dad. He's an active dad. I take Jackson to practice. I find time to, to help with the feedings when I can. So it's like, I find time to balance. I can't just sit back on the fact that, okay, she had a baby, let me just let her chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what we debate about. Now, I can't bear children. So I don't understand what, you know, what really fully goes into it. But I just feel like you can do it. My mom had three kids and a full-time job. And I just felt like, like they got stuff done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like your mom different. had three different. kids and a full-time job. They never made excuses. So I make excuses? So I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Turn the cameras off. I didn't say that. I have a question. I'm procrastinating that makes excuses. Time out. No. I have a question. I didn't say that. Okay. Beyond child raising and child bearing, which we don't. You know, we do have dog. Who cooks, grocery shops, cleans, does all that? I ain't even gonna lie. I do it all. Cook, clean, so you're like 100% not just semi active. You're like, I teach at my son's school, soccer practice, soccer games. I manage artists from the studio all night. Come home. Oh. Love on my wife and uh-huh. my kids. So uh-huh. you're done. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But I was raised by my mom. It's a little different. You know what I'm saying? I've always been domestic. What was that about? I said, I don't cook. Oh. And I don't clean. <laughs> I do not. Do you grocery shop? Nope. 
The, she grocery shops online. She doesn't do anything. She, make, she make it seem as if she be in the store pushing the cart well, down the aisle. She be like this. Click, the reason click, I do click. that. The reason I do that is because we have we live in Brooklyn in an apartment. If I go to the supermarket and shop, who's going to be lifting a thousand bags Me. up to the fourth floor? So Me. I do him a favor, okay? My grocery shop. Oh, online. they don't help you out at all. It had nothing to do with helping her out. It's like better than both of us. It was all to help me. I appreciate you so much. At least so I thought much. about you, Deval. I thought about you so much. I thought about you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and now I know I why. I thought about you. Oh, I was like, I don't know how y'all do that. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? I can't discredit someone who's a homemaker. Because as as a guy who's who loves my home, having someone who, who can make a home is so important. Yeah. Because you go out and work and you come home, you just want to be comfortable. You want to relax. And that's, you know, I appreciate that in our relationship, how we're able to kind of give each other roles and we know, you know, but the, what happens with business is whoever's taking on more aspects of that business. Because remember, we talked about me being a creative and me wanting to get stuff done. She's the executor as far as she knows how to get certain things done. Mm-hmm. So I'll have the ideas, I have the plan, and I'm like, bam, lay it out, let's do it. Right. And it's it's yeah. her. Mm-hmm. She's the one who, you know, executes getting it done. And not That's for nothing, right. too, there has to be a balance. In order mm-hmm. for you to be that creative and to be that dreamer, I had to hold down the fort yeah. to some extent at home. Like there has to be like that solid foundation or that base, that structure mm-hmm. that allows you to yeah. then be that. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Do either of you feel like one is kind of anchoring down the household more? And then well, she does because she's at home all day. Like hands down. Like when okay. That's she how it calls. Cool. She don't give me any headaches. She knows I'm out. She we're very transparent with each other. So mm-hmm. it's like. There's no problems. When I come home, everything's good. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the kids are asleep, generally. My son mm-hmm. ain't sleeping. But like, <laughs> right. Other than that, like, home, like, all the secretarial, emails, follow-up, phone calls. Like, she can take care. I, I, I'm, that's not my strong suit. Mm-hmm. That's, that's okay. You know, yeah. I'm more so managing the relationships and, you know, sourcing new clients and managing what I have on my plate. So, in the last few months, the dynamic has changed in terms of us both being at home and working from home, you know, primarily. So he's work has taken him out more. So now I'm seeing, mm-hmm. you know, the responsibility of, you know, having both of the children and a four year old who's super active, but really appreciating, you know, that time that he was there because now that he's gone more often, it's like, oh, this you you be, you yeah. <laughs> one time did you say you were going to be there? Right, right, right. Help. Right. You know? but she, she never calls me. She never asks for right. help. Right. Only like, she's only called me once, only some emergency. I'd be out three in the morning and mm-hmm. she's just super supportive of my dreams and I just try to make sure that I give her the same attention when she's styling or doing what her right. God-given ability and talents are. Mm-hmm. Right. And make sure that I'm just as active and supportive as she is for me. I'm not just thinking about myself or what I want to do right. because I never want her to wake up and regret following and helping me, assist me right. in my goals and dreams and she's falling by the wayside. Like, I want to make sure that she accomplishes everything that she wants to in her life as well. So well, yeah. That's how I learned Absolutely. how to value homemaking because when she started to get get back in the field and start doing makeup and being out, and I had to be home with the kids for hours, <laughs> I was like, bro, all three? And, and I used to put a limit. I used to tell her, like, listen, I got I got two pamper changes in me. <laughs> if I got to go past two pamper changes, I might have a conniption. So she would try to try to plan it so that someone was there to help me. Right. It is not easy. No, no. It is really not easy to be at home and take care of a home. Like, mm-hmm. that is the most... And, and to be honest, I wonder how my mom did it. Like, I wonder mm-hmm. even how my father... Because my father was like, he, my father mm-hmm. cooks. He cooks, cooks. He makes his own sauces and stuff. And I wonder how they balanced full-time jobs and doing yeah. that as, as Well, you know, I mean, you have expressed that you felt that there was a deficit having two parents out. Yes, working, I, I Like, did, working I did. out of the house? Mm-hmm. Because who was home with you and it your brother? It was me and my brother. Me you and know? my brother. Eight, eight years time. old and six years old. Mm-hmm. We were home by ourselves. A few times he's left, and I've been home, like, to do all the other stuff mm-hmm. that he usually does. And I was like, oh, I can't do this. Right, right, <laughs> right. I, went to the grocery, I didn't even know how to grocery shop. That's right. when you value. I, went, I was yeah, like, yeah. it's Ooh. too many labels. <laughs> I'm, calling, I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, which one do we usually get? Right. Which, What kind of hot dogs do we usually get? <laughs> Just I couldn't over. do any of it. Like right. none of the domestic stuff, I can't do it. It, it took him <laughs> to go away for a few months for me to know, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. oh yeah, I can't do what he does. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel like I've forgotten how to, you know, I used to be like, you and like I took care of all my stuff and then he's just really great with numbers mm. and he's got a memory for dates 
Mm-hmm. I don't have a memory for dates. So that means bills don't get paid when they're supposed to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's on it. Right? And so it's kind of like we both, when we got together, we kind of just took over strong points for each. Like my strong yeah. point is right. yeah. grocery shopping, cooking, and making sure he has it a settles. nice balanced diet. Yeah. Yeah. And not cereal and chips and Doritos and donuts. It's amazing. And it's then good. he's like, okay, you know your life insurance ain't paid. Right. <laughs> your yeah. phone bill ain't paid. This, yeah. you know, so right. now it's, it's kind of weird because I, I, it's almost like I don't even have bills. No, because he handles all of them. Because it's fake. I mean, you know, we both work together when we're working, so the money is going into the same pot, but everything is is taken care of. So if anything goes wrong with the bill, I'm shocked. I'm like, how did that not get paid? Right, right, right. Right. It's It's like, because he's always on it. And, And if he opens the refrigerator and it's empty, he'd be like, What's going on? What, what, what is going on? Because it's always stopped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking about, you know, just all of those different things, you talked about sacrifices. Yeah. And how do you guys agree on which is the right sacrifice to make? Because we struggle with that. Mm-hmm. I may want to sacrifice in one capacity. She may want to sacrifice. And we can't agree. How do y'all decide which sacrifices are worth it? Worth sacrificing. It? My personal view is it's just, it's one of those things that are just kind of like unknown at this point. Like we know mm-hmm. who we are. We know where we want to be, and we know in the interim of that that there are certain things that are we just can't yeah. do, you know. Yeah. But we know where we're going. We have a plan. Mm-hmm. We know where we want to be. Right. right. And you agree yeah. on that. And we do. agree yeah. on that. Yeah. It's well, the same thing with you guys. I'm always trying to figure out what money is allocated to what. I like that word. And yeah. sometimes <laughs> he doesn't think the stuff I'm paying for is worthy. Of being paid. I.e., like, for example. Well, so, like, so he has some side business. Virtual reality helmet. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I need to relax. 3D I mean, class. I need some fun in my life. You know? That is a necessity. He has, necessity. he has 8, 9, 10, 12, whatever right. number we are in. Uh, <laughs> so he has a side business. And uh-huh. it's, it's, a, it's a clothing design company. And sometimes he wants to do, like, prototypes for those designs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I will have spent it on... Something else. VR. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual reality. To get sample my, money. <laughs> to get sample money from VR. <laughs> but, but then I always, I mean, th- there's always an issue is that, you know, w- which we have to work through. Um, being uncomfortable asking for mm. the money. And then part of me is like, I put in half of this money right. in do this pot. So why do I have to ask? Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, yeah. it is, you are a unit because there's been times where I spent money and I didn't tell yes, him I many, was spending money. Many times. And then he's like, how did you spend it? You don't know what's <laughs> out there and right. this and that. But then, you know, <laughs> but also feeling like, okay, it, you know, it's that balance of like yes. missing having your own. Yes. Because everything that you do have together, so you don't have that autonomy anymore. We talk about that all the time. But at the same time, sometimes it's not equally yoked with this. Like, okay, well, you went and bought this thing, and I need these t-shirts. Wait, tell us about yesterday. Because I heard Robert over here saying, yeah, you're right, you're right. I did that. I went out with my girlfriends last night, and I was like, wow, I need some. He was like. Well, I asked her, did you need some money? She was like, yeah. I was like, but the day before yesterday, I just killed you out. Like, right. She's like, well, I went to Target. I'm like, oh, it's it's Target. Target. <laughs> She's like, they need it all up. <laughs> oh, Target to get Target to get you. Like, I tried to count her money, but it was just like, it was just another two hundred for a Yoni steam right there. <laughs> Bro, the steam, I, I got a pot at home. I know. We go get some herbs. I told him we could do it. We could save two hundred dollars. <laughs> You know, but those are one of those things that we go back to sacrifice. Like, she at home, she taking care of these babies. That baby up on that nipple all day. I know she's tired. I know she want to get some air. I know she want to go out with girls. Mm -hmm. If she want this two hundred dollar yoni steam or whatever it's called, let me just find a way to give it to her. And then it's about asking as well because Mm -hmm. we talked about that. Asking for what it is that you need. Normally, I'd be like, well, you know, forget it. And this time around, I'm like, baby, number two, I'm going to ask for what I want. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And so, and that was one of those things where, you know, we talk about, like, a sacrifice sometimes. And it's just like, if you don't speak up, he doesn't know that you have this need. And then you don't want to end up being resentful for it later. And mm-hmm. it's like, in your mind, you're like, did you ever right. open yeah. your mouth? Did you ever right. even say anything mm-hmm. about your piss? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He doesn't even know you're mad. Right. You can't yeah. be mad right. if I don't. No, no, why. but it's kind of like a catch twenty two because you also uh, predicting a conflict when you do yes. ask. Oh, absolutely! And so you're not asking because you don't 
feel like dealing with. See, I was okay, so like, I was gonna ask. And then if you don't ask, you yes. get resentful yeah. because I was gonna ask. You that. never asked, and then they're like, "Well, I didn't know." You didn't so, this t-shirt thing. Oh, yeah, if he had a told me, ask. if he had a told me, that's what the t-shirt thing. He started off wrong. It's important to him. If he wanted important, but if he had told me that's what he wanted it for, it would have been I would have been all ears. But he never asked. He just watched me spin, and then we it got to it got to a point one time we had a conflict. It came out of nowhere. He was like, "Oh, you spent all this money on on uh, on all this." Sh- <laughs> and I wanted this one, you know. And I'm like, and I'm like, when did I, when did you tell me this? He's like, you know, I'm trying to start this t-shirt business. I was like, I I know that, but you haven't ever come and said these are the things that I need. So I thought mm-hmm. I had this money to spend on, you know, resident. But you evil. didn't ask me. <laughs> you didn't ask me. You didn't ask me. Can I spend this on resident? So, okay. Evil? So you just say it's also funny. <laughs> talk about conflict, right? We we try to be transparent. But transparency often ends up in petty wars. Every time. That's right. right. Every time. So, part of marriage. Transparency. Right. Yes, transparency. I like that. Transparency. Hashtag. Word alert. Hashtag. 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 Transparency. And then we'll talk about Target. So, <laughs> she, Target. She, do, she go to Target. No matter where we are, she go to Target. Yep, I'll find me a Target. She'll get, she get toilet paper. She'll get five gallons of Listerine because it's on, on, on sale. sale. Yeah. And I'm like, we don't need all this stuff. So, we arguing. And then she decided to be petty. Right? So she said, I'm going to cut back now. I'm going to cut back. She said, you want me to cut back? So she cut back on the toilet paper. <laughs> so she, I mean, that's hey, petty. she didn't get the Charmin. Oh, it gets way she worse. She, 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 didn't, she didn't get the Charmin. The she got the one ply. She oh, mad at you. Sandpaper oh, joint. Me she mad at you. It was all clearance. But this the joint, <laughs> though. She kept the, the Charmin that she had in her closet. Oh, for her. So oh, I'm walking but it was around with the chase joint. I'm walking around with the chase Change joint like ah. Uh, uh, he was like, "Did you change?" So I said, "I was just b- b- bowling on a budget." <laughs> but when I went to her closet <laughs> and I see this super silky, <laughs> like this thing <laughs> called her name on it. <laughs> yo, yo, it was like it was Do like touch. Al- it was aloe. <laughs> it was I'm like, aloe. Oh, so you hiding toilet paper now? <laughs> no, you know what the best one was when my mom came by and I ain't tell her about my stash, right? <laughs> so she went to use the bathroom and she came out and she was like. And she's Jamaican. Kadeen, what toilet paper is that you bought? <laughs> I went to wet myself and my hand busts right through the tissue. <laughs> I'm like, I said, girl, you should have winded it up some more. You need a couple oh rolls to wipe with that, that yep. Yeah. Mm. Layer it up. Funny thing is that yep, transparency mm. always <laughs> messes us up in the bedroom. Mm. Like, we'll be having a good day. <laughs> And you know, I'm I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get on with me tonight. I'm, I got, we don't got no kids. Mm-hmm. And then I get a ding to my phone, and it's the Amax alert. <laughs> he gets why? alerts. Yeah, I get, I get alerts on my phone. So I'm like, why you why you go to Target today? Didn't you go last week? And she be like, yeah, but I had to get this. Then we start arguing, but I still want to get it in. So now, then, now it's all. It's all you know, how do you balance that? Because right. I'm like, pulling my feelings. Or even better, y'all at home all day working yeah. together, right? Oh my right. gosh. You and your, your head tie, you know, you and your pajama pants. Mm-hmm. How do we then convert that into being enticing? Like, how does the intimacy then, oh, I think like, how does that happen? Because we fall short on that a lot. You'll be like, yeah. I left you with these kids. I don't fall short. I'll oil day. up. You want me to oil up? I get oiled up. <laughs> but that's <laughs> true. I gotta do. That's true. It's different sometimes. Like, you know, you just, you've been in sweats all day. You it's true. You know, you got, you got the, you got the last man on earth beard, yeah, exactly. hair all over your head. So you, you in the same like, drawers for at least two days. Like, Why? Why it gotta be like that? But because you just that into, you know, he don't get Being interested enticing. until I go and shave up. I don't get interested until she shave up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a laser stop. I got a laser I might need to touch it all. I'm going to clean it up, shave it up. I'm going to clean it up. But sometimes I, I struggle with that. But like, all right, well, I'm dead tired at the end of the night. Shit, I got to go make myself look good. Do you yeah. have that issue? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, no, oh, you don't. What do you mean? I don't put no pressure on you. No, I that. didn't. No, I'm not saying the but pressure. I put the pressure on myself. Yourself. Okay. Yes. No. Let's. I, let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I love you, baby. It don't matter what you got on. Right, right. I'm diving right in." And the pressure I put on myself. You want to okay. look good for him. I do, and it's you know, 
the, the same thing that we're talking about. It's the balance. It's everything happening in the home. It's all, it's the parenting, it, you, marriage, business, everything is happening in the home. And so finding those times to say, hey, we're not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's time to find a babysitter. You mm -hmm. know, we didn't right. trust anybody Asking with baby help. number one, but, right. you know. Baby number two. Baby number two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, I feel you. I think the other thing too is like entrepreneurship. It, it makes you not give yourself days off. Right. So we're always we're always right. on the clock. And right. I think that's part of it. It's like just some day saying, you know what? No weekends. We're off today. Yeah, that's right. Just started that thing okay. just to take our weekends. We started that with Sundays. Yes. Yep. We started yeah. that with Sundays. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Friday night oh, and date seven night. Seven days a week. And I know. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's Let hard. me tell you, she took my phone. Even if it's a couple hours, you know? Sundays, yeah. she... Cause be, I'm not going to lie. There was a point where I was working 16, 17 hour days. I wouldn't talk about nothing but work. I mm -hmm. wasn't interested. We ain't going on vacations. Mm -hmm. She had had a child. And it was kind of like you realize, like, you know, it's not fair. I'm, I'm living for us, but I'm really not living for us. This is selfish. You know, yeah. like, yeah, I want to make money. I want to provide. But mm -hmm. you got money and you die with all this money. Where that money go? Right. You have to learn to enjoy it. And you gotta, she taught you me that. You got to live in, in the yeah. interim. You know, she we, taught me that. I, I can definitely say, even though we, we have all of these same issues, we do like, we like to vacation because mm -hmm. this industry, the entertainment industry can be so stressful. And like you mm -hmm. said, you work 14, 16 hours a day, you know, and you, you need to refresh. Yeah. You go, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's just like, let's just, yeah. just go somewhere. Let's just go somewhere. And I tell you, the sparks fly when we're, I don't know yeah, what like, it is about hotels. I, 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 this is my man right here. I don't know what it is about hotels, but all of a sudden it's just, you know, That'd bring something perfect. out. But yeah. it's, right. it's a good refreshing mm -hmm. away from it all. Mm -hmm. And then you come back home. You know, it's waiting, it's waiting for you when you get back. And, and I think you can do it differently. What happens to, I, what I've found with even DeVal, you don't turn your phone off. So that gives people no, the access. idea yeah, yeah. that they have this that instant accessible. access mm -hmm. all the time. And I'm yeah. So this phone is going off 11, midnight, 2 a.m. And it's, yeah. it's business stuff. Like, at what that. point I'm... do you put the limitations right. out there or the boundaries right. out there? Yeah. It's just about accessibility. Well, as producers, that's the same thing. Like, you know, it's, in TV producing, unfortunately, the network overnight. feels that they have your life 24-7. Right. Mm -hmm. And they will be texting you and writing you and emailing you for notes that took look my contract yeah. says yeah. I, I I get paid this amount of hours mm -hmm. a day mm -hmm. so you gotta set that I gotta yeah, set, set the boundaries, boundaries. I'm you, sorry if you keep doing dinner. it they keep answering it, it, you suddenly yeah. you're like you know what we we don't answer the phone after six right. we don't, and they go okay and then, no, you know what? You're right. They do because it was the same thing with us. Them. Yeah, because yeah. look, what I can solve tonight can be solved in the morning. Right. Yeah, true. Right. <laughs> yeah, like a customer service based business where yeah, right. You know, when they get off work, they call us. Yeah, yeah. Right. When everybody else gets off work. That's when your day begins. We're right. still on. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, our day, we work well, today. You, you work what? Right. right. And we're still, still on. on. Right. When they get off work. And they're having kids. Because you're, you're in management. Graphic design. So that's yeah. how yeah. Well, it's the same thing with producers, too, though. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you yeah. up that's with the artist at 3, 4 in the morning, where mm -hmm. I'm designing while I'm in the studio. As you can see, my wrist here, mm -hmm. this is 10,000 hours worth of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Day in and day out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's. Definitely. Just finding, so it's really hard finding to find that point but, but where we, you say that. But we stuff. also know that it's just a short term sacrifice because right. we know what we have in the motion. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And if we can keep this going until then, we can mm -hmm. take the vacation. When the artists, we pop, we right, go, we right. travel worldwide. Right. She's styling it. We're raising our kids abroad, what we ultimately want to do. That's the same thing. the world. Do. So, how do yeah. we do that? Mm -hmm. She gets to style, I get to manage, I get to travel, yeah. raise our kids. That's right. So that's the big picture. That's, that's what we're working towards. Yeah. yeah. And the truth is, it'll get to that point. Because I know you you guys have been in it a lot longer than both of us. And you're at a point now where you can shut off and go on vacation. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. gotten to that point. You know, we've been we've been in this for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first six years, the first seven years. Oh, remember, gosh. we didn't go no vacation. We didn't go on no vacations. Mm -hmm. yes. But now, Washington. now you yeah. get to the point. No, let me tell you, let me tell you, there's mama. There's a light. There's a light. There's a light. And it hits that point <laughs> right. where everything works out because you built yeah. that foundation. Or a staycation. As right, right. Saying. You at home, yeah. but yeah. you're yeah. chilling. Right. Yeah. It, that point does come. And mm -hmm. when it comes. So the good thing is that what we've learned here today is that we're not alone in this. We're not, no, we're not right, alone right, in right, this. Right. There are definitely right. correlations, but being entrepreneurs, having our own businesses, working together, being yeah. married, there's a gift in that. Yeah. Because right. we yes. have that ultimate goal, yes. and two are better than one. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very <laughs> true. True. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank y'all so much. We want to thank Amber and Robert, thank and my guys over here, Quincy and DeAndre, for joining yes, us. Yes, thanks. And thank my you, husband. Man. 
You still love me? I appreciate you. Do you? <laughs> All right. Good. <laughs> you saw my face, huh? You see where I'm going? You had just better. I'm like, I do. I do. Toilet tissue. Cash conversations. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank right. you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I can't even recall any aunts and uncles that are that were still married to me mm -hmm. growing up. Right. So my my definition definition of like marriage and, and things was I provide for you, you eat, I provide security when I'm around. Like it was mm -hmm. that type of thing. So this what was the me. what was the thing that said, you know what, I gotta get married? I almost lost it. <laughs> I was scared where he was gonna no. go. With that. <laughs> I'm like, what? Damn, man. No. No.